Hello, today I am at home in my kitchen and I'm going to prepare a dish, a British dessert called apple crumble, which is a really, really yummy, homely dish. It's homely, it makes you feel like you're at home. It's the kind of thing that your mum or your grandma would cook you. So it's a really homely dish, it makes you feel warm inside. <laughs> so I'm gonna prepare this dish I'm going to prepare it, I'm going to show you how it's prepared and the ingredients that you need and why not, afterwards, you could try. You could try and create your own apple crumble. But before we do that, I'm going to make it, you can see what you think and you can decide. Okay, so I'm just going to set this, preheat it, turn it on and preheat it to 190 degrees. Okay, so the oven is on. Let's have a look at the ingredients for an apple crumble. Well, first of all, we're going to need some apples. <laughs> I think we will need some apples for the apple crumble. Now, the recipe I am using calls for 575 grams of apples, okay? and it suggests Bramley, Bramley apples. Now, these apples are actually from our garden, I think, my mum gave me these, okay? So, um, I don't know exactly, I don't think they're Bramley apples, but any apples are going to taste good. Um, Bramley apples will be maybe the best for this recipe, the most commonly used, but these apples will be okay. Now. I also should have 575 grams, but I don't. I have 128, 254, 387 grams. So I'm a little bit low. So I'm going to use this as well. So this here is stewed damsons. These are stewed damsons, so not apples. Now, damsons are similar to plums. The flavor is similar to plums. They are smaller and they are really delicious. And we have some damson trees in our garden. So these ones are from the garden and they have been stewed. And when you stew a uh, fruit, you just put it in a pan, put it on the hob, on the hob, on the flame, in a pan with some water for 10 minutes, 20 minutes, an hour. Um, and I'm gonna add this. So this is not a traditional uh, apple crumble, but it's going to be basically really delicious because these are so good. So if you want to be just traditional, then just use apples. And if you can find Bramley apples, but hay is gonna taste really good anyway. So you can be a little creative with the fruit that you add. So I've got those. I've also got butter. I've got butter here. I've got 250 grams. I need 110 grams, 110 grams. I don't need all this. And also you should really get unsalted. Unsalted, I think for baking, when you're baking sweet things, then generally unsalted is what you want. So unsalted butter for the recipe too. And very importantly, we're going to need some flour. So here I have some plain flour and I'm going to need 175 grams of flour. Finally, the last important ingredient is sugar. Sugar. Now, you can use different types. The commonly they suggest golden caster sugar. Golden caster sugar. This is not golden caster sugar. <laughs> so <laughs> Archie is breaking the rules with this recipe really, but this will be just fine. You can see this is a light brown soft sugar, which is quite similar to golden caster sugar. So I saved money and I am using what I have already in the cupboard. Some other things that are not necessary, but you can have are oats. I have a bag here of oats. These are the oats that I get to make porridge, porridge in the morning for breakfast. Um, and these are quite nice sprinkled, 
sprinkled on top of the apple crumble at the end. Cream, double cream, or you can get single cream. This is just nice to serve it with. And here is demerara sugar, demerara sugar. So this we can just sprinkle again on top at the end, near the end of the cooking of the apple crumble. So first of all, I'm going to need to prepare the apples. For that, I'm just going to want to peel them first. I'm going to peel them. So I'm going to remove the peel. You can call this the peel or you can call it the skin. So I have my trusty peeler, my trusty peeler. Um, that's a strange way we say something that we really like. Um, my trusty peeler, especially a tool, my trusty pen, my trusty uh, screwdriver. So here I have my trusty peeler and I'm just going to peel these. Okay, that's my cat, Flora. I have a few cats. Um, Flora, she wants out. Okay, cat sorted, back to peeling. Okay, that is the apples peeled and I've made a good mess. I've made a good mess. Apple peel everywhere in the room. So now I'm going to core them, core them. If you core them, that means, that means, sorry, that means remove the core. So remove the center of the apple. Um, in many romance languages like French and Italian, the word for heart is very similar to core. Uh, in English, we have a different word for heart, but the core, when we talk about the core of something, we're meaning right in the center. So I'm gonna core the apples. Okay, so that is the first major step done. Here I've got a baking dish, a baking dish. Hopefully this one will be big enough. If it's not big enough, I'll get another dish, but I'll see if this one's big enough first. So I've got my apples. I'm just gonna make them a little smaller and then put them in here. And let's add the Demsons. And then I'm also going to add two tablespoons of my light brown soft sugar or golden caster sugar. What's a tablespoon in recipes? So a teaspoon would be that and a tablespoon would be that or maybe a little bit bigger. Just mix it all together. Great, so that looks like a good size of dish. So now I need to make the crumble, crumble. So for that, first I need a bowl. I've put my bowl on the weighing scales, the scales, the weighing scales, and I need to measure 175 grams of plain flour. We go 178 that will do now i need to add 110 grams of caster sugar or golden caster sugar or the light brown soft sugar come on sugar there we go and also a little bit of salt here is my salt british table salt so just a little bit of salt in there too so I'll just mix that up together. So I've got a good, nice mix. Okay, and now I'm gonna have to add my butter. And this is where I turn it into a crumble, crumble. So zero the scales, I'm gonna zero them. Take my butter. And I need 110 grams. So open it up. Um, this is 250. I don't know. I guess it's the same everywhere in the world. We always have them in 250 gram uh, packets in the UK. So 110 should be less than half. Let's see. Do I manage to get 110? 105. It's not bad. Okay, a little bit more. 
109, okay, 109, tiny, oh, 110, okay, fine. <laughs> so I'm gonna put that in anyway. So now I am just going to um, basically put this in and just mix it up with the flour and sugar and that little bit of salt. And that's how I'm going to make a crumble. It's going to make little pieces of buttery flour and sugar. Delicious. Okay, so I've managed to get through that big block of butter, a big block. Now um, I just need to mix all the butter with all the flour to get this crumbly, crumbly texture where it's buttery. So you've got to look for the right consistency, the consistency. Consistency is a word we use to talk about the texture, the feeling in your hands. So you've got to get the right consistency. So like this is quite good, but uh, there is a lot of flour still here that needs mixing in. I'm nearly there now. And uh, voila, voila, voila. That's a French word that we use in English. Um, it's a bit different in English though than in French. In English, we only use it when you've finished something. So you've created something and when you've finished creating it, you can show it and you can say, voila. So there is the crumble for the top. Okay, so now I will pour it on top of my, on top of my fruit mixture. Okay. So I want this to be quite flat, so I need to make sure that's a bit flatter. Okay, here we go. Now I'm just going to take a fork, take a fork and just spread it out a bit more evenly. Spread it out evenly. I've used that word a lot now to do something evenly so it looks the same everywhere. So it's nearly ready to go in the oven. Just gonna quickly wash my hands. Okay, so I'm just gonna sprinkle over some of my rolled oats, some porridge oats. They just, they just add a little crunch and also some demerara sugar. Though this sugar, ow, is really hard. So let's see. Can I get any? Roughly a tablespoon. There we go, voila. And so now it can go in the oven for 35 to 40 minutes. When it's bubbling, blah, 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 blah. when it's bubbling and it looks uh, nice and brown, golden brown on the top, then we should know it's ready but roughly 35 to 40 minutes. So let's put it in. Ooh, that's hot. Here we go. And in you go, apple crumble. See you in 30 minutes. So while we're waiting for my apple crumble, I just wanted to ask you for your support. Now, you don't have to, but um, if you can support me on my Patreon, so that is new, I've created it recently, then that would be amazing for two pounds a month or for five pounds a month. And with that, you get certain advantages. So you get one free video exclusive just for subscribers every month. And also you get a chance of winning a private lesson with me, a one-to-one -one lesson. If you subscribe for five pounds a month, you get two chances of winning a private one-to-one -one lesson. And at the time of recording this video today, I don't have very many subscribers. Um, I just have a couple. So if you support me, if you join my Patreon, you will have a very good chance of winning a free lesson um, or maybe more than one free lesson. Okay, so it's been about 40 minutes. I've already turned the oven off, so it's time to take it out. Here we are. 
Oh, that smells really good, actually. It smells really nice. So, oh, this is a bit heavy. You can see the Dampson sauce, Dampson, the stewed Dampsons have bubbled up. They've bubbled up around the side, which looks nice. Um, I don't think I can eat any now, but later I will have some after my dinner and I will video that um, with some cream, of course, and I can let you know how it tastes. Okay, everyone, it's time to finally have a taste. I've got a little space in my stomach after dinner, so let's go. Should have used a bigger spoon. Ooh. Okay, mm, tastes good so far. I'm just gonna heat this up and then I can put some cream on top. Here we are. Little bit of cream on top. Looks good. Mm, hot. That's so good. Mm. Oh! I made it a little hot, but actually, it's delicious. It's really, really good. So, make sure you uh, try this recipe. I will put the link to the recipe in the description below the video. Um, I hope you enjoyed making this with me. I enjoyed making it with you. And now I'm gonna really enjoy eating it. Um, and I've got so much of it. So you might notice me put on a little bit of weight in the next week in my videos. Um, so thanks very much, everyone. Lovely to see you. Do remember to subscribe to this channel and like this video. I would really appreciate it. See you again soon. Bye.